Hey guys, what's up? Good morning, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. This is gonna be a quick how-to video on how to add music to your YouTube videos without getting it pulled by monetization as far as copyrights are concerned. So this is gonna be how to add free music and not have to worry about it actually getting pulled and not getting paid through AdSense or whatever platform you're using. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to apologize. I don't have a screencast software and I don't have the $500 or whatever it costs to download it. And I'm not gonna use those crappy ones because they just over and over are problems on top of problems and different weird specifications. So real quick, let's get started. Hopefully you can see my mouse here in the center. And so the first thing you're probably gonna do is you're like, all right, I'm at my creator studio and and I'm just chilling and I wanna make a video with music. So go to your edit right here. You're gonna see that and hopefully you can see that really good. And then go to audio. Right here it says audio. Now you're going to look, these hey, are actually- It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. This is a video on so these are gonna be like all your tracks that are actually going to be ad free and eligible for monetization. So with monetization, if you actually do add a track that has, and let me see if in create, I could show you what that means real quick, that needs to be announced. Okay, so if you see here, you see all these tracks and you can search music, search genre, your mood. You can do sound effects or whatever and that's cool. But the important thing is, you see this little guy here? This is a little Creative Commons. Let's zoom in real quick. Creative Commons means you need to actually give that artist credit for the content that you're using. And if you don't, YouTube's gonna pull your video. If you get a strike, that which would be a uh, monetization strike, um, that's okay. You're gonna learn from that mistake, hopefully. But if you get three strikes, they're gonna pull you off YouTube indefinitely and you can never open a channel again. So don't do that. You're stealing people's music. YouTube's not gonna allow you. It's a federal law. You can't do that. So backing up, going to the video manager and hitting a video and let's not do the video I just created. Let's do, actually I have a scroll down here. Let's go to like page, I'm gonna have to go to, so let's go here, videos and then audio. Once you find the library I just showed you in create by the way, is gonna be the biggest one. So you'll find your track there, write it down Write it down on a piece of paper and then bring yourself over to the create area. Click audio up here. And then the the easy way First to do all, is to enter it into here. Although, personally, I don't like doing that because it seems like for some reason I can't find all the tracks that were in the previous section. So what I do, and I'm taking you through these steps because it was literally a two week nightmare trying to figure this out. I go to the upload button up here in the top corner over here and then I click video editor right here on the bottom. And then once I'm in here, I go over here and I grab any video. I do wanna grab probably something that I already haven't edited. Drag it over here, drop it. And then, once you do that, click outside of there. And hey then, guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with one. you got the little icon right here that says music, a uh, little tone. So, uh, one that I use in a lot of my videos is going to be Universal Vibe Tracks. And you'll want to do both the name and the artist because for some reason if you just put in universal it literally will not come up what the hell 
Uh, okay. The um, type in. Oh. So it's kind of picky. Uh, make sure you get it right. See, it was just a freaking space there. That's literally why I couldn't find my track because it didn't have a space in between vibe and tracks. So I promise you, it's a learning curve. Um, this video is going to walk you through beginning to end what it takes. Now this video does not have a Creative Commons, so you don't have to show the artist um, on your description or whatever and give credits to them. What happens when you do use a song, say you use like Nicki Minaj or something like that, and she wants to be paid, obviously. Um, if she wants to be paid, you have to put her information in your description and a link to it or whatever. And then you are not going to get paid for monetization. She's going to most likely pop an ad on there and she's going to receive that. Which is, I mean, that's understandable. But there is plenty of uh, YouTube music that we can use uh, for us poor YouTubers that are trying to make a, a couple bucks and you know, provide a service by having cool videos for people. So once you have this, I'm not trying to talk your ear off, I'm just trying to freaking help you understand this because it's a pain in the ass. Once you have this track, grab your track and drag it over here, drop it down this section below where it says, uh, drag audio here. You drop it and something I wanna show you real quick. See how it's super loud and you can't hear it? Hold on, wait till it kicks in, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, one, two. See how you can't hear me and it's it's kind of a and it's gonna get worse, trust me. What you do is you click the track and then you have these volume controls. So you slide the volume all the way down and see how quiet that got. And I, depending on the song, if it's just like a video slideshow, don't worry about it. It's just gonna be cool music all the time. But if you're trying to talk, do the bass, treble. I don't mess with pan too much, um, but drop everything down and then click outside of here to see what it sounds like. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with You hear how it's like a lot better? It's kind of like a background. Even once it kicks in, watch. See, it's totally kicked in. And it's just like a backdrop. It's not like something that you have to talk over or is fighting for attention of the video or whatever. So that's important. Once you do that, um, all you got to do is basically create, click create video up here in the corner. It takes a while, usually the longer the video, the longer it takes to render the video. But, so if you guys liked our videos, I hope you did and I hope it helped you. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. And again, this was just a quick video on showing you how to do the music and how to add music to your videos without having to worry about copyright laws and stuff like that. So again, this is Jonathan with One Big Impact. Please share our videos, that's how we're able to make more. If you have any questions about creating videos or making better YouTube videos or understanding a certain process of it, I'm in the learning process too and I probably will forever be in the learning process and I think that's what makes us all great. Uh, so if you know something that I don't, please share it with me too. Thanks guys and remember to spread love not hate. Peace.